Um, Keem, Keem TDE, Keem, who's from TDE, has been a bit of trouble, right? Because it's now being alleged, or the narrative out there is that Keem played a starring role in academics getting pressed at the Fig Munity live show. And that's the narrative that's out there. That's what we're running with. That's what I'm running with because ha ha is funny and it's funny, right? So Keem decided to get on um, MacWop State, what is it, uh, Apollo, and clear the, clear the air about what happened because I played the video last stream where they're at the Fig Mutiny live show and a fan comes on the mic and basically starts barking at academics, right? Starts pressing him, right? Starts marking him out, as they say in LA. And academics is there stuttering and whatever. AD gets in between them, so nothing happens. But academics looks like he's uncomfortable, looks like he's a bit scared, whatever it may be. After the fact, he gets on stream and says he wasn't scared and whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it wasn't a good thing to see because, you know, he was their guest and, you know, they're letting him get punked in front of everybody was a bit bad they should have cut that mic that guy's mic off anyway keem then gets on stream after the event and says he's the one that did that or played a part in it because academics if you remember was the one that was going super hard at scissor and scissor obviously is on tde and obviously keem probably knows her they're friendly whatever he's looking out for her so he didn't forget what academics said or did to to scissor and how he made her feel so he's the one that got the goon to go and say that shit about ak so now he's saying that that's not the case so let's hear his point of view what actually happened and why academics got pressed today man shout out to the live show tonight y'all got people coming and all that i ain't got nobody coming y'all got people coming no <sighs> i got i got a few people coming i ain't got people coming bro that's crazy why not i don't know I no don't... Bro, I, I really wasn't even tripping on you don't got this. people coming to this show this one here tonight yeah but you had people come to new york is that what you said what's going right, on so with that's you? what you was getting at you was getting that you said why well, do that yeah that's what he was getting at nigga. all right so. yeah why 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 you why you implicate me in doing that Rat. why well, implicate all right so here go my here's my response to that i didn't implicate you i didn't well, I, would you, I, okay I don't want to say implicate because I provided the footage. Mm -hmm. He going to run with that. He was being running with that. And and the context and the commentary. You feel me? But well, it would have just been that if you didn't say. I did it on my vlog. Keem didn't really do that. But I did it in my, my what's the name? My streaming space. I was reporting on Nigga live footage. Fresh for academics. Crazy. No, for live footage, right? Because implication is like, all right, I just set up from over there from New York. I'm way out in Cali, and I just came up with these things. You know what I'm saying? And somebody yeah. would call back like, yo, hey, it was like this tonight. And I would have just came up and just made it up. Nah, you I'll did make that up, Nick. Do you think that's a form of manipulation? Like, goons have this way of speaking, right? Guys from the streets sometimes, and they do it here in the UK too. Where they don't really, they don't really talk about the question at hand. They can't just say loads of filler words and just... It's not even dancing. They, it's almost... Is it manipulation? I don't know what it is. It's a weird, almost like a hypnosis thing that they do, where they just speak about things without speaking about the thing. And it's like all kind of implied and vague and this and that. It's like, bro, either you speak about it or you don't. But what's this in-between thing? I wonder if that's a weird way that goons do, where they sort of like, it's like a manipulation tactic. That's how you probably get kids on board to join their things. Or I don't know. It's a very strange way of talking and communicating. It's like, are you going to answer the question? Did you set up Keem? Do you set up academics or not? If you don't want to answer it fair, because you don't want to implicate yourself or, you know, whatever. But, you know, like it's a fairly easy question to answer. Nigga, that shit wasn't real. That shit didn't happen like that, nigga. No, no, you know that that part, that's the part, that's the funniest part. That's what I'm saying. All this shit, all this shit was made up outside of what was seen. What? Oh, he's but saying nah, he made it up. Okay, cool. But I it's see. different because you know. So he's suggesting that he was. It was all a. It was all a. What you call it? A prank. I see. I see the, the the defense. It was a prank. I'm being a character actor. I'm being. What's that? What What did um? What's his face? Alex Jones say. I'm in character. It's a personality. Do you know what I mean? It's all, I'm fake. It's wrestling. Okay. Me, nigga. Uh huh. You feel me? It, it like we like we do this shit. Yeah. So it looked right. like you had some insight. A little bit of insight. To no, that. that's so that's that's the part where for me I probably played. That's good cookups. I know good cookups, but that's why I get in trouble from in my whole life. This is where because I'm gonna go teeter that line. Because people in LA, why do they like jeans with like all these words and graphics on them? 
Can someone explain what the what the fascination is with LA goo LA guys, LA goons wearing jeans with all these logos and br like what they love? It's like that brand that um uh, what's I think Bari has endless whatever with the graphic. They love words and shit on their jeans, isn't it? Like, what what's with all this stuff? It's jeans. Just wear the jeans. Why do they have to be like covered in graphics? You've already got hoodies with graphics, t-shirts with graphics, jackets with graphics. Do you really want your jeans to have graphics on them? Odd. To me, I'm like, this is light. Funny. It's light, but it, it you gotta it also not though at the same time. Nah, I was more so playing off bros like how light he was having. Like it was funny. The whole shit was funny. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Other than that, that whole <laughs> thing would be something different. That whole live would be a something different. But it was just all funny. So I'm like, yeah, this is funny. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of like where I come from, the space I was coming from. Like, this shit is funny. But it only teetered the line. I don't even know where it teetered the line, honestly. Because the only people that don't believe the shit or believe the shit is the internet. But didn't you say that you set up academics on the internet? You were on the live stream, your own live stream on your own channel, where you said you didn't like what academics said about Scissor. So you did what you did. Honestly, it, it's almost like they're trying to convince you that you didn't see what you saw. It's very interesting way of speaking. It's almost po like political speak, like a politician. Like, you didn't hear what I said. I didn't make that promise. That wasn't a part of my campaign. You're imagining things. This is the new, you know, <laughs> this is this is a new print. This is a new fucking, um, this is a new way we're going. New direction. Interesting. If you, but, but everybody that, that know, know. But nah, only you, people that you, believe nah, it is sure, internet. If you, if you, <laughs> everybody that know, know. If you, what does that even mean? I don't know. I don't know. What no, that but that, niggas know you was bullshitting. Niggas knew nothing like that was real. Yeah. You feel me? But if you didn't know, it's like, oh, uh, like, what's, what's up with this nigga? <laughs> niggas knew, but niggas don't know. Niggas knew. For sure. Uh, you you got to think. You, that's what we, I'm saying. Uh, it's a, shit, wait, cheater, that it's shit, a thin line. It's a thin line. Compromise, that shit could compromise. It could. I move. It could. Feel me? It could compromise, you know, if yeah. a couple But and it also could comp it could compromise a lot of shit though, cause it was real tension with act. Exactly. You get know what I'm saying? Nah, like, yeah, he was for real. Yeah, he like it was real tension with this yeah. nigga. So you gotta always keep that in My mind. Offer still stands. Stone Cold Stunner. I, I told him that. I told him I told him. Hey yo. Yes, it is. Hey yo, Kim, I told him, but I like Okay, so Kim is still on Demon Time. If he catches act, it's gonna be Stone Cold Stunner time. Okay, cool. Fair play. I but I said that that you will Keem is like Don't you find it interesting that Ak didn't attack Keem the same way he attacked Sosa Santana or Young Miami? Don't you find that interesting? I would still stone cold that nigga because you still how he blocks the, the, the homie, the homie that was there, he want to call in and really get his narrative on. Yeah, yeah. like, bro, I don't give a fuck about none of that TDE shit. None of that shit you talking about, TF. Like, I was just telling that nigga he was pussy. I just wanted to get exactly, that off my chest. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, like, to me, I feel like with the act shit, man. Speaking of your mic, Kimmy. But with the act shit, it's just kind of like he's just that one kid or a person you know. Like, that's why he going to keep yelling money. You go have to yell money because you yeah, feel yeah, small. Yeah. Like, even in that room, you didn't feel as big as that 30 million you talking about. You felt small in that room. And now I go on the internet, I see you feeling small. Bro up there laughing. Like, niggas is laughing. You funny to laugh at. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like entertainment. Like, you, you feel me? Like, the niggas. Okay, we, we got we got the gist of it. Keem did say what he said. Now he's taking it back. Now he's going to be Stone Cold Talent Time. Who knows what's happening? I guess if you're academics, this is why you don't go outside, isn't it? Because really and truly, there are people out there that want to put hands and feet on you. So I understand why Act doesn't want to go outside. But I also, as much as I'm a fan of academics, there's a part of me that kind of, kind of just wishes he would just get it over and done with. Because eventually someone's going to catch him and they're going to beat him up. So just get get it over and done with. Either you get over and done with, or what I think he should do is this. Keep talking shit about people, but just stay at home. Don't even argue and say you are outside, I'm outside. No, say you are inside in your mansion, love, living life, loving life. Be okay to just stay at home and be a hermit and talk shit about people from the inside. That's perfectly fine. But he tries to like do both. He wants to be the hermit millionaire streamer but also be the guy that gives no fucks and is willing to crash out no you can't be both you have to be either the bully or the victim at the moment you're the victim but you get paid well to be one just be proud and be the victim or what he should do really in the man's sames you know going back to what i'm saying again just get over and done with meet up somebody for a fair one 
if you lose, you lose. It is what it is. But just get it out of the way. So these people know you're not pussy. Because at the moment, he's ducking face with everybody. He didn't want to fight Blueface. He, he, then he went to fight Lil Baby. Um, he, he didn't want to fight Saucy Santana. Now he's not going back at... Ke like he's, he's always ducking fades. But he wants to say, talk shit. When you're a man, unfortunately, you can't do that. Women can, for, you know, because they just can. But I think with guys... I think that, that that famous quote by Jordan Peterson is true, and that there's always a limit with guys when it comes to altercations. There's only so many things you can say about another man until they're like, you know what? We have to fight. You just can't keep shouting and screaming at somebody. So I think eventually someone will end up putting hands and feet on him, which is unfortunate, really. But it's the nature of the game, I guess, isn't it? I just think you should get rid of I think you should do it on his terms, though. Just meet somebody up, buck them up, swing, have a punch up. If you lose, you lose. Keep it moving. It is what it is. People lose fights all the time. It's not that big of a deal.